Hello. Good evening. Good morning. Wherever you're watching from, all around the globe, all over the world. This is Pastor Chris Agudembe. Pastor Chris Agudembe. Oh, we just enjoyed a little bit of worship as we wait for others to join in, uh, which will be in a few seconds. Just want to bless you with Chris Morgan daily as I live. Hallelujah. Tonight we're going to be looking at health issues and um, it's going to basically be based on the type of food that we eat every day that when we're, you know, that are so dangerous and harmful to our health. So we'll be looking at all that tonight. Um, I just stopped the music. Good evening, good evening, good evening. Thank you, thank you, Sister Benny. Thank you for coming in. As you come in, please just help us share the the uh, um, this broadcast so that others can be blessed by it. Um, basically, I'm doing this because last year I attended some funerals that were not necessary. And um, I just felt that um, too many children are becoming motherless, fatherless because, you know, parents are dying young and, and it's, not, it's not something that God is happy about. And personally, I've had to make, change, I've had to make changes, you know, last year personally um, as far as my health is concerned. So I'm doing this just to help us so that, you know, we can know um, those things that the supermarkets are not telling us, the media, they're not telling us, but yet, you know, we're eating them and consuming them every day and they're very harmful to our health. Very quickly, because this, bro this broadcast is not going to be long, it's going to just be up for about half an hour. So we're going to go straight to the point. Um, we're looking at foods that we generally eat. Um, I may not be every day, but that are on our menu so often and that are not good for us or not good for our health. And because um, we, 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 we live in a country, especially, well, I don't know where, you, wh where you're watching from, but wherever you're watching from, from it's an issue worldwide. This is an issue everywhere. First of all, I want to employ us that, you know, let's look at our cooking materials, for instance, cooking utensils. Um, I'm just going to mention one. If you are cooking with, um, you know, aluminum cooking utensils, you probably want to change them um, to stainless steel or glass cooking utensils. The reason for that is because, you know, the stainless steel uh, don't tend to chip in into your food uh, or glass cooking uh, um, utensils. They don't tend to chip into your food, whereas the aluminum ones tend to do that. So maybe you want to take a look at that. I just felt I should bring that, you know, very quickly before we go into the matter of the day now some of the food that we consume uh you know food like you know um like i like i was saying yesterday soda pops like you know things like uh um um coke um fanta anything any food that is sugary i mean any any drink that is sugary you know they're not good for us they're not good for us we need to go back to taking water just purely water water would do a lot of good to your body it would in fact your body needs it your body needs it um, for cleansing your body needs it to you know uh, uh, to detox the body your body needs water the blood actually does need water you know in order for it to flow and circulate your body so i would if i were you i would advise you just stick to water you know basically so you know if there's any drink in your cupboard that is you know uh, uh that soda drink you know so that are sugar loaded they, they're basically source of they, they are empty source of calories and they can be very detrimental to our health in addition to weight gain and inflammation and insulin resistance they they actually leads to gastroesophageal reflux disease and what that does is that 
your, the, the, there's what you call the stomach acid. The stomach acid, uh, um, you know, it, it, it leaks back into the esophagus and this causes you pain, it causes you burning. Whilst you may not think that is anything, what happens is that, it, you know, the, 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 the more it happens to you, that individual is prone to a stroke. And so you don't, you don't, you don't want that. We don't want people dropping dead at the prime of their life. So please, if we can put an end to soda drinks, um, that would really, really go a long way. Or packaged fruit, you know, juices, you know, uh, if we can put an end to that, that would really be great. Another type of food that we consume that are not good for us. Can you hear me? Can you hear me, please? If you can hear me, just let me know. You know, just type in so that I know that you're there. God bless you. Thank you so much. Another type of food that we consume that is not good for our health, they're processed meats. Processed meats. And these are, you know, what, what are processed meats? They are, they, these include like hot dogs, sausages, um, bacon or luncheon meats, they can be damaging to our health because they, they contain chemicals that are excessive, you know, in salt. It, it, the, 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 you know, the salt level is very high. And because they use the, this to actually process the, um, the, 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 the meats, that's why it's called processed meat. So, and recently, a recent study uh, of researchers that was public in the, uh, I mean, that was published in the BMC uh, uh, Medicine Journal uh, actually shows that people that eat processed meat are 44% more likely to catch, you know, to, 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 to die, you know, than those that don't actually eat processed meat. In fact, they conducted this um, study um, across 10 countries. And, f and it, it took for about, I think it took about 13 years, you know, for this study. So people who eat processed meat, especially if that processed meat is in excess of 160, gra you know, grams, it's very, very deadly. So please, we, we can sort of just, you know, uh, uh, um, lay back on it and just stop eating them. Or if at all, you cannot stop eating them, at least minimize it, minimize the, 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 the consumption of it so that we can look after our health. Another, you know, um, type of food that's not good for our health are uh, the processed, packaged and canned foods. You know, foods that are processed, you know, that are canned, it, they're not, it's better we eat fruit, I mean, fresh food, eat fresh farm produce instead. And especially organic, organic food, uh, food types that are grown naturally, uh, um, and that are, they are grown with no chemicals. So those are the types of food that are better for us and for our health. So if we can basically do away with canned food, and like I was sharing yesterday, what we did in, uh, uh, at our, end was you know when i was sharing this uh, my women were like saying okay what do we do how do we deal with this one of the women said look that we we, we can actually you know use more pepper um you know pepper um and and then just add a little bit of fresh tomatoes and she opened our eyes to that and i've been doing that it's been amazing so i i don't use uh, uh, um canned uh, um, um food anymore so please please let's Let's eliminate it. And let me tell you um, uh, the thing about the canned food. In case you're wondering, you're, you're, you're asking, but why are you telling us not to eat canned, canned, canned foods? You know, they are, they are hazardous. The, it, the, the, the issue here is actually not the food itself, but it's the canning. Are you understanding me? Is the canning? Um, I don't want to go into uh, you know medical jargons and you know scientific jargons, but you know there's what we call the BPA that is actually used, you know, for the canning, and it's been proved that BPA alters the brain chemistry. 
you know, be, the, the researches were done, carried out on rats, and it was found that, you know, it actually alters the brain chemistry in rats. And imagine if it alters the brain chemistry in rats. It means that it's actually altering the brain chemistry in human beings. So that's why it's better you go into the grocery store, you know, pick your fresh fruits, fresh vegetables, you know, fresh everything, get them, wash them really well, and then, you know, bobs your uncle and do your cooking with that. Because why? The content from that canned food, the, 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 the PPA content from that canned food, you know, some people actually put a label, they put a warning on the label and say, don't feed your children with this. That's how deadly, how hazardous it is. So that's canned food. Another food that's detrimental to our health is what, you know, a lot of us, when we go to the movies, perhaps, you know, we have this, you know, it's micro microwave popcorn. Microwave popcorn is actually not good for us. Why? Because it's not, again, it's not the popcorn itself that's an issue. It's actually to do with the bag that's, that's microwaved. The bag that that corn is microwaved in. Typical, typically, what happens is that, you know, the bag is lined with a chemical. That chemical that we call it PFOA, you know, don't, you know, it's called, it's basically perflo, uh, a tonic, you know, acid. That's what is used, in, you know, for the bag. And really, it's toxic. It's toxic and, and you don't want to be consuming that and ingesting that into your system. But in fact, it's been found that this particular one is linked to infertility in women. But, you know, we're, we're not going into that. But another risk to that is that there's a significant increase in the risk of liver, bladder, kidney or testi you know, testicular cancer in human beings. You know, when, when, when the researches have been carried out, that's what it's come up with. The results come up with that. Even as far as lung diseases, you know, we, we, we can link lung disease to that as well. So please, if if you must eat popcorn what you could do is actually you could actually cook it from your stove you know on 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 your stove as opposed to cooking it inside the microwave so the the, the cooking of it inside the microwave is where the problem is so if you must eat popcorn don't make it microwavable don't eat po a microwave popcorn you know desist from it and uh, we're going to talk about microwave another time that's another issue you know in itself but we're looking at foods that are dangerous to our health that's what we're looking at right now another food type and i'll call them you know health offenders another type is hydrogenated oil you know hydrogenated oil are, the, are notoriously linked to heart disease they're linked to our immune system deficiency and of course they're linked to cancer it's been proved that hydrogenated oil is linked to cancer. And so what you could do instead, because you may be asking, okay, I need to use oil to, to, to cook. So what do I do? Well, what do I use? You could use, you could use alternative oil instead. There's olive oil. Are you understanding me? There's, there's, there's olive oil that you can use. There's um, grape seed oil that you can use. There's coconut oil that you can use. So those are alternatives. So you don't have to use uh, uh, um, hydrogenated oil, you know. So please, please, as we begin to eliminate all these food products from our menu, we will find that, you know, our health begin we, we, we you know i had to make changes last year like i said what drove me to this was because i was carrying so much weight i was actually uh you know 19 stones can you imagine seriously you know seriously bad so i made up my mind no so throughout last year from january through to december basically i went from being 19 to being just over 13 stone 13.9 stone are you understanding me because i realized that i've had i've attended so many funerals i was just tired i said no i've got to live for my ch well to fulfill purpose and to fulfill destiny and a lot of us you know and if your body packs 
up, that's it. That's the end of the assignment. And I pray for you that your assignment will not be over. I pray for you that your body will not pack up in the name of Jesus. I pray for you that it will be well with you. You will not miss your destiny. You will not miss purpose. And you know, the reason for which God created you, you will fulfill it in the name of Jesus. Nothing will cut short our lives in the name of Jesus. Let's go back to the food offenders i'll call them you know health offenders my apology Th foods that are not good for our health that we consume ev almost every day another type of food is is like you know fried foods fried foods fried foods are not good for us fried foods are not good for us at all they're not good for us you know instead of frying your food instead of frying your food you can actually you know put them in the oven so that even fat is extracted even fat is extracted you know from the food but the, the bad thing about the the the, the fried food is that you know, when you fry your food, what you're basically doing is, you know, <clears throat> increasing your risk of high blood, high, high blood pressure, obesity, and numerous, you know, diseases like, you know, heart attack and all that. Because why? There is a clogging of the heart. Are you, are you, uh, of the, at, you know, arteries. And you don't really want to, uh, once the heart stops, the body stops. Your, what what keeps you going is your heart once the heart says you know gives up and you know just stops that's it that's it the the the, the body stops you stop breathing and then the assignment is over so please because the trans fat, you know, but, but, but the, the trans fat and the salt that's involved in, in, in the frying of the food is actually, you know, so dangerous. There's a particular one that's called acrylamide. The acrylamide is what is actually found in cigarettes as well as building insulation. Imagine imagine and if we're ingesting that and consuming that and our body is consuming such imagine what goes on on the inside of us inside our body you know when we eat it is so delicious it's so nice but guess what <laughs> when it goes into your body then it starts to it starts to damage the body you understand it starts to damage especially the organs in the body once the organs in the body start to be affected and a lot of this food are linked to you know uh, liver disease heart disease you know kidney disease and and once those 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 uh, uh, you know uh, uh, organs pack up then that's it we have issues and let me tell you we have assignment here on earth we've got a, a, each and every one of us was created for purpose we were created to fulfill a particular assignment and until you have fulfilled your assignment you're not permitted to leave this world you're not permitted to make an ex you know exitus out of this life you are supposed to stay here long enough to fulfill your calling fulfill your assignment so health should not be an issue i have had to come to this conclusion that no i've got to do something about my health and so where everybody's been asking me what did you do what did you i just thought okay let me be a blessing and just bring it to us and let you know exactly you know what, what, how i've been dealing with it and god has been amazing you know it, it's been awesome you wake up fresh you know you can do more you do more daily you carry out you're not you're not as tired anymore are you understanding me anyway let's go back another type of food that is not good for our health i know a lot of us we don't take alcohol but alcohol is really bad if there's anyone out there who is consuming alcohol and don't let me even say that because there are christians who actually do take alcohol but let me tell you it's not it's not it's not good for your body alcohol consumption in fact what happens there was there was a research done on over 200 about 200,000 women they it was conducted on, on women about 200,000 women they were you know post post menopausal women and it was found that people the women that were taking alcohol and you know they at least you know one alcoholic beverage the women that were taking one alcoholic beverage a day they showed almost a 30 percent increase in breast cancer 30% increase in breast cancer rates and you know, compared to those that were not drinking at all.
So if you are if you are drinking alcohol, you're 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 risking your life. So put an end to it. Again, like I said, as parents, we want to stay alive. Especially your children need you. Your your children on their wedding days, you must you must not be found wanting. You must not be missing. And I pray you will not be missing on your wedding on your children's wedding day. None of them they will not hold their one silent. You know. Mm, um, for um, for you, uh, uh, um, in remembrance of you. No, you must stay alive to enjoy your children. You must stay alive to 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 enjoy the fruit of your labor. Why would you have labored over your children and somebody else will be enjoying them? No. So let's look after our health. Let's take care of our health. Let's take care of ourselves so that we can stay alive. So that we can live long. Praise the name of the Lord. I don't want to. I don't want to go to any funeral again. And none of you will die. You will not come to my own funeral neither. In the name of Jesus, we. Will not die young anymore. No more cancer. No more heart problems. In the name of Jesus, we will look after our health and we will live long to declare the glory of God. Let's go back to, you know, the 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 the, the worst, you know, food uh, uh, um, health offenders that we consume that we don't even have a clue are detrimental to our health. Another one, uh, uh, our food you know, uh, what we call diet food, <laughs> diet food. And a lot of us, we are, we're, we're so tricked by this diet. You know, they say low sugar, no sugar, fat free. And it, I mean, does that sound so familiar to anyone that we, we hear it all the time, but listen to me, the so-called diet food packaging, what they should really be putting on, on, on those food packaging is that artificial sweetness, artificial color, coloring loaded with chemicals because they're loaded with chemicals. In fact, let me tell you something. The diet food out there are made with dyes. They are, they're, they're, that's what you call food dye. And they are very nasty. In fact, the, the common types of food dye that are used in this diet food are red, they're, they're, they're red 40, you have the yellow 6, then you have the yellow 5. What happens? They, they contain carcinogens. They contain carcinogens and carcinogens are linked with cancer. There's another one that, that, that there's another one that's dangerous. It's called dye three. I mean red three. That one is so dangerous that you know it's been linked to several diseases. So all this diet food, diet coke, diet fanta, diet um this uh, uh, what what else, diet uh, the what I'm not, they're not actually good for in fact, okay, perhaps maybe they they, they removed processed um sugar um, um from it but what they have done is actually replaced it with sweetness they've, re they, they've just basically replaced it with sweetness and the sweetness are more detrimental to your to your health than the normal you know processed sugar is to your health so please you know you know just keep it if anything like i said earlier on would stick to your water stick to water there cannot be better um, 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 fluid or liquid for your body than water. You cannot over drink water. Water is so necessary, so needed in your body. I, I will have to take a, you know, a complete uh, broadcast on water alone so that we see the benefits of water because like I said, your body, your blood needs it to circulate. Are you understanding me? And to feed all those various organs. But let's keep let's keep tag of, of where we are so anything that is artificial just know it is detrimental anything artificial is detrimental in fact you 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 you, you, you may be missing out on calories you know and and sugar of you know of regular soda and all that but what you'll be getting you'll be getting tons of you know sweeteners in your body and that is even more it's more it, the reason is detrimental is because there's no real sugar ingested so what what happens your body begins to crave sugar so it can use up the excess insulin are you understanding me and so too much unnecessary insulin eventually leads to insu insulin resistance in your body and that leads of course to what we call metabolic syndrome basically leads to metabolic syndrome what what is that what do i mean by metabolic syndrome bond is basically what what it means a bundle of conditions that leads to increased risk of heart disease in, increased risk of stroke increased risk of diabetes and we don't need it too, too, too many people have been diagnosed of diabetes, stroke. You know, one day I was at my doctor's. I wanted, normally I don't even go to my doctor's, but I needed a form completed, signed for me. 
And I got there. She said, I've not, you know, I haven't seen you in a long time. I said, I don't need to be here. So she said, I need to take your blood pressure, take this, this, this and that. And so she, she, she took it and she said, oh, your, your, your blood, your blood is uh, pressure. So I said, it's not my own blood pressure. So, and because a mentor of mine usually says that, oh, it, it, it you know, there are two, there are two hands holding this um, instrument. So it may be reading the wrong hand. It may be reading the wrong person. And I said that to my doctor. I said I'll come back. I booked another bump of appointment. Of course, my blood pressure was fine and everything. But the Holy Ghost, you know, God told me, listen, it's, it's okay to be spiritual, but it's very stupid to be stupid. It is not okay to be stupid. You look after your health. It's okay to confess faith. But excuse me, let's not deceive ourselves. Let's do what we're supposed to do to stay alive. Now, let me let me let me give you a few uh, you know we've got just about four five more minutes like i said i don't want to take more than half an hour so we want to finish at uh, uh at half past so another food that's detrimental for our health uh, a sugary food now there's there's a difference between the uh, uh artificial sweetener and actual sugar itself the the the, the sugary food hmm. yeah. okay even though this refined sugar is not as detrimental as, you know, artificial sweeteners. It's still something we have to avoid. Why? The thing is that they carried out uh, a research back in, uh, I think it was 1931. They now found out that cancer cells have a taste for sweets. <laughs> this, this research was, ca was carried out in 1931. 1931 so they found out that cancer cells <coughs> cancer cells they feed on sweets on sweets they they, they found out that the, the 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 tumors they rely on sugar to increase the cancer cell production and they re, they rely on that sugar also to increase the size of the cancer of the tumor wow <laughs> I don't know if I'm helping somebody out there, but I hope I am. So refined sugars, you know, uh, they, 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 are, they are so deadly to the body. And sadly enough, these are things that we don't get to hear about. For, uh, when we get to the supermarket, everything is beckoning on us. Take me, buy me, eat me. But the body, when it gets into the body, is when it actually does that damage to the body. I pray for you that your body will not be damaged. I pray for you that you will live long. I pray for you that you will not be cut off at the prime of your life. I pray for you <clears throat> that your children will not become motherless. I pray for somebody out there right now that your children will not become fatherless. Oh my God. It's not a good thing when the children are just starting to grow up. You know, maybe just as small children or teenagers and all of a sudden the father is gone. All of a sudden the mother is gone. We don't want that anymore. We don't want that anymore. We want to put an end to all this death. Please, let's be careful what we eat. Nobody is telling us, but let's let's tell ourselves. Let's speak to ourselves, especially women. I appeal to women out there. I, I, you know, I, I was sharing a testimony yesterday. Well, not a testimony, it was a story. And that's one of the reasons I'm doing this as well. I employ the staff to, you know, to do all our cooking and our cleaning and everything. And then I, 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 I and when I looked at her, Sylvia said, you know, you don't have a, a lot of qualifications. Let's help you to get some qualifications. She said, no, but you know, you know what? Her health was suffering. I mean, she left and uh, not long after that. And then somebody came to tell me that she died. She died. She had high blood pressure. She had a nine-year-old daughter, and she left that girl. We need to start talking to ourselves. We need to start, because, you know, especially Africans, I'm going to come back with other foodstuffs that we eat that we don't even know are damaging our, our health. I, like I said, I have had to make changes. I have had to look at myself and say no. It can't, no, can't go on like this. No, 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 no. So last year, almost six stones, I had to come, I had to, I had to shed almost six stones because I had to basically sit down. I had a conference with myself and said, 
enough is enough. I'm tired of going to funerals of 40 something year old, 30 something year old, or even those in their early 30s. I'm tired of it. Please, I beg you, your children need you. Our children need us to be alive. It will be awesome for you to see your children's children, your great grandchildren. They want to see you. And also, heaven doesn't need you there yet. If you don't fulfill your assignment here on earth, it would have been a waste of life. It would have been a, but my prayer is that your life will not be wasted. And I'm speaking to you, I'm speaking to me. Discover why you were created. Discover why God sent you to this planet earth. It doesn't matter how old you are. Let me tell you that. It does not matter how old you are right now. Jump in to read now. And I pray God, you know, something good about God is, is that he said, I will restore the years that the locusts have eaten. God is a restorer. God is, a, he wants to restore all those years back to us. But let's start to make changes for ourselves. Whether you are 40 today or you are 50 today, it doesn't matter. When I read about that colonel that, you know, the, the, the um, Kentucky Fried Chicken, he discovered purpose at the age of 60 something. Oh my God. Mary Kay. Oh my God. That awesome, amazing woman. I found out that he was, she was a Christian. She discovered purpose. And, you know, now a lot of people you know, are in, in Mary Kay because one woman discovered purpose. But guess what? She didn't discover it at 20. No. So it doesn't matter how old you are. And I'm not saying you should prolong it and wait till you have 60, 70. No, no, no. That's not what I'm saying. I'm just basically trying to let you know that it is not over for you. Let's start to make these changes. Buy fresh food. Cook with um, stainless steel uh, um, utensils. If you, uh, me, I've, I've had to, you know, get rid of all my aluminum pots so that I can start, uh, you know, I could start using, you know, aluminum, uh, uh, I mean, stainless steel or gla glass utensils to cook so that it doesn't chip into the food and I don't ingest what I'm not supposed to ingest. So God bless you. I really appreciate you. Please. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. Please share this video. Share it not because I want to be popular. No. Share it because you need to help somebody. If you share it, you will be helping some children that would have become fatherless, that would have become motherless. You will be helping them because their parents can get to learn this and they can start to eat healthily and they can stay alive longer. God bless you. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Uh, um, Every one of uh, you and everyone online really appreciate you. Thank you, Pastor Kemi. I, pre I celebrate you. I love you with all my heart. Thank you, uh, Favor. Um, thank you for, for, for Sister Tony. Thank you, Sister Mercy. Thank you, Brother Wale. Thank you. Please do share it so that somebody can be liberated and delivered. God bless you. Till I come your way, it means that we won't be able to do our ardent worship at training today. We'll do that next week. But I'll be coming back on Saturday with Parenting Without Tears. Parenting with Without tears. We're going to change the time of the parenting without tears from 5 p.m. to 10 a.m. in the morning. From 5 p.m. to 10 a.m. I'll be sending out notification on that. God bless you. Real good. Do have a good evening or good morning or good afternoon wherever you are in the world. Please do share this video. I love you with all my heart. It's Dr. Chris. God bless you. Bye.